speaking of big platforms, uh, like I said, the one name you've been attached to here recently a lot is is uh, Ronda Rousey, MMA fighter, whose trainer recently said that today she could be a, a world champion. First of all, is that disrespectful to, to ladies like you Absolutely. that have been doing it for years? Where she's I take that school. very, very, very personally. That's just insulting to say you can become a world champion. You might be a paper champion, but you're not going to be a legitimate world champion like myself. So, I mean, that's like me saying I'm going to go over to her sport and beat her butt at what she does at MMA. I'm not stupid, you know. She'll grab my arm and take me down and probably, you know, that'll be the end of it. But. You know, if she's going to step into our arena, she better be prepared to get her butt whooped because that's what's going to happen. And a prime example of that she's undefeated, but Holly Holm crossed over recently, and she's you know not looked great her, her last couple of fights in the UFC, which you know is, is obviously probably attributed to the fact that you know her her skills might not, you know at least really she's not a great boxer either, in my opinion. So you know she had a good promoter, and that was good for her and Albuquerque. But you know again, she didn't take her show on the road. When you take them out of their comfort zone. You see what they really are. But in her defense, would a lot of people not say that she can only get paid in New Mexico? And oh, absolutely. I don't blame them. I'm not hating because you know if I had that that opportunity to have a hometown promoter, I would have a perfect record and I'd be, you know, a lot better off record-wise and um, opportunity-wise if I had a good promoter. So with, with Rhonda, have you taken a look at some of her stand-up in the videos? You've seen it's terrible. Oh my gosh, she's just like an amateur. She never fought before as a boxer. Um, she can't punch. She can't defend. There's nothing I see in her that would even give me work as a as a boxer. Like I wouldn't even want to spar with her unless I was getting paid, you know, good money. It's a waste of my time. It wouldn't improve me in any kind of way. And uh, I, if we get in the ring and fight, I'm gonna beat the ass. That's what's gonna happen. Do you think that's maybe a product too? They're, they're just trying to boost her. Or do you think they actually believe that? And I think again, they actually believe her. It is disrespectful because you got a lot of guys. Maybe her trainer. I never even heard of him, but. Um, you know, you get a girl that can punch a little bit or move a little bit, and they say, oh, she's awesome. She's just, you know, because they've never seen a female fighter. They don't They're understand the game. Fighters, like Absolutely not. I mean, and she's sparring with Victor Cheney in that video, and, you know, he's just playing around. I've sparred with all these guys, top contenders, and I don't just spar with them. I beat their asses, too. So it's not like, you know, she's doing anything special in the ring, in a boxing ring. Did you see her last fight? The, I did not. Spence Correa was for uh, 32 seconds, I think it was. Yeah. God, they stood, but you know, again, it's not. She's not fighting you. Different sport. Again, I don't think they're reaching for a real competition for Ronda. They're going to keep her invincible for a while, and that's how she she's marketable. She's a beast. I mean, look at her. She fought 12 fights and ended them in the first round. That's pretty special. Um, she's so dominant in MMA. Do you think that's something um, that they would? perhaps consider in the future UFC saying, well, let's do a boxing fight in a UFC cage, for example. I really doubt it. Or they don't want to risk her, uh, her aura right now. No, her invincibility will go down the toilet if she goes and tries to fight in boxing because, you know, she'll be exposed. And, and I wouldn't recommend it for her. I would think that's a stupid move. So I don't think that would ever happen. Dana White won't let it happen. But, you know, if somebody such as Floyd Mayweather put his name behind mine with all the media attention with Floyd and Ronda back and forth, you know, well, mainly One Direction. I mean, Ronda's been mentioning Floyd Mayweather, and Floyd won't acknowledge her. Why should he? You know, we're talking about boxing. You know. Well, let me so, ask you this: Would you do a compromise? Uh, you, Ronda, four-ounce gloves in the octagon, boxing. Absolutely, boxing is boxing. I, I would go bare knuckle. I don't give a crap. You know, boxing is my expertise. I will do it in a backyard. I'll do it in a pit. I will fight in the ring. But if it's boxing rules, I'm gonna win. I'll beat anybody out there. Well, that's the one thing anyone can say, like you or hate you, you're willing to fight anybody, any place, BKB. BK, I have proven it anywhere. time and time again. I've proven it. I've fought everybody there is to fight. The only thing left for me is to try and make money in this game. And um, that has to do a lot with promotion, and I hope that I get some help with, uh, you know, somebody like uh, my big brother Floyd, who's, you know, the male me, or I'm the female him, however you want to put it. But, you know, people like that need to recognize us and pay attention because, you know, we can fight. Let me ask you this, just to wrap up, um, people like Holly Holm and others have crossed over and done MMA because whereas women in boxing have not been able for whatever reason to really get their name up there in recent years, sure. MMA, they've been embraced and they make good money. Why have you never considered the move over, and, or would you? I mean, no, I wouldn't. You know, my expertise is in boxing. She's been doing boxing her whole life. I've been doing boxing. Uh, she's been doing MMA her whole life. I've been doing boxing my whole life. So for me to cross over, it would be like starting over, you know. Um, it's not a good move for me. It's like me getting in a NASCAR and thinking I can drive it. No, 
So you're not willing to race Ronda Rousey on the, on the track? Absolutely. Then? No. No. I mean, yeah. It's a different sport. I know what I know what I'm good at, and I stay where I belong in boxing. You know, um, I've done. I have a good martial arts background. If I wanted to, I could transition better than a lot of these fighters. But at the same time, I'm not going to beat somebody who's an expert at that in their arena. You, you're very confident in your own skills, rightfully so. Sure. Is there any other female? I mean, do you think Ronda would have a problem with any legit top flight? I think she'd have a, a problem with any legit amateur boxer, really. I mean, there's some good female amateur boxers out there now. We have the gold medalist, Clarissa Shields. She's 160 pounds. Uh, have her have her fight uh, Marlena Esparza, the gold, the bronze. I don't think she even won, won the bronze, right? I think she did win the bronze. Yeah. So we got a, we got a, a bronze medalist you can try and take on. I know you're an Olympic athlete, Rhonda, but you know that's an, a different sport. Judo, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, right. but I respect her. All that said, you know I have great respect for Ronda Rousey, and I have great respect for Dana White finally stepping up and putting women in the main event of a UFC fight. I mean, that hasn't been done in boxing. We've been the co-feature when Don King was around. Um, but since then, it's kind of died since the early 2000s. And I want to see women's boxing make a resurgence. With the good amateurs that are coming up, they need a place to go. And if there is nothing that I can do about that while I'm here, you know, the future is kind of bleak. All right, and just, just finally, uh, do you think there's a problem now with the, the girls coming up that are more than gravitating towards MMA than boxing, or is it a mix? Or, but either way, with an already thin field, now that you have to compete with something else, it depletes it even further. Right. right. Yeah, I don't think, I think one, uh, they're separate from each other generally. And I've crossed over from kickboxing to boxing, but I think in general they're two separate um, groups of people. But you're ready for Ronda if she ever wants to. Ready for Ronda? I can train, I, I don't even have to train for that fight. I will go to that fight, I will fight her with my eyes closed. All right, well, Dana, you want to make it happen? And I'll close her eyes at the same time. So, you know, if Dana White wants to respond, I mean, maybe they don't want to respond to me, but let's say my big brother Floyd says, hey, fight my girl. You're talking all this smack about boxing and fighting me in the octagon. I don't even want, I, you know, what's he going to do in the octagon? He doesn't want to do that shit and fight a girl. What, well, you know, besides that, I mean, you're talking about boxing, someone in your weight, somebody who has belts. I'm right here. Come and get it, you know? All right, man. Appreciate it. Uh, best luck to you later. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff.